Hey everyone, um, so I wanted to pop on and share how breathwork, yoga, and meditation saved my life. So um, you guys probably have read the previous post I posted about um, almost drowning on the lake last week. Um, and yeah, I wanted to just share um, the gratitude and the importance I had found in my training that um, essentially saved my life. So um, so just to recap really quick, um, went out on the lake in the afternoon, there wasn't a whole lot of people out there. Um, by the time that I got swimming across the lake, there was nobody out on the lake. Um, and I thought, you know, I can do this, I'm strong, I'm capable, um, and it was just a little bit farther than what I thought. Um, so when I got to the place where I was going to rest along the side of the lake, um, there was lots of weeds and stuff. Um, so I was trying to rest on a little bit of a stick log sort of situation. Um, and then I started getting tangled up in the weeds. Um, so I began trying to swim away, um, and I panicked. So I knew a few people that had passed away through getting tangled up in the weeds. Um, so something in my brain just triggered. Um, off and I started to go into like a panic. So I'm swimming away, didn't really have time to catch my breath from swimming across the lake um, and just take a break. Um, so I was already feeling tired, um, but then I started to go into a panic attack. So if you've ever had a panic attack, um, it's like hyperventilating. You can't breathe, you're dizzy, you're disoriented, you... Um, it, it's, it's really intense. A lot of people feel like they're having a heart attack. Um, I've had panic attacks before, so I knew that that's what was happening. Um, and so I kept flipping to my back to rest on my back, um, and just try to calm down. Um, because I knew that like, the more I panicked, the more I was exerting myself and I wasn't going to make it back. So every time I flipped over to my belly and tried to swim, I was very disoriented, really dizzy, um, and just kind of confused and not being able to find where I was going. Um, so it was this kind of thing where I felt like I was just kind of floating in the middle of the lake, swimming around, um, really disoriented. Um, anyways, so what had ha helped me? Um, so three things. So breath work, meditation, and yoga. And I'll tell you why those three things saved my life. So for number one, when I rolled to my back, I could hear my breath underwater. So my ears were underwater and I could hear myself and I could hear how panicked my breath was. So I was able to connect with my breath and calm my breath down. So I could slow it down and control my breath. And because I've been trained in breath work um, and done it myself um, in classes and different things, I knew that I could calm my breath down. So I focused on just calming my breath down. Um, so that's number one, breath work. Um, I knew that if I was <sighs> breathing like this, I was gonna get dizzy, I was gonna get disoriented, and I was going to lose um, a lot of energy. So for me, just having that training to be able to calm the breath down, sip the breath, um, was very, was life-saving, was life-saving for sure. Um, the second part of it was, um, was, yoga and the reason why i say yoga is because when you're on your mat you're connected to your body so you know how to drop into your body i knew that i was out on the middle of the lake there was no one around and that i i had to save my own life and i knew that if i was tense and i was stressing in my body like if i started panicking and throwing my arms around and my legs around like i was going to exert myself i wasn't going to make it back so I could drop into my body. I could be like, okay, relax the shoulders, relax myself. I could position myself on the body, um, on the water, sorry, where my body was floating. So I was able to try to calm my body and my mind down um, and be able to um, soften, soften your body. So in yoga, we do a lot of things where we're moving into discomfort. So it's moving into discomfort, finding the comfort in that, finding the softness in those uncomfortable places. So it really helped me to drop into my body and say, okay, I need to like use my body properly. So if I'm going to swim, I'm going to swim. If I'm not swimming, I need to rest. 
um, and I'm not going to be flailing my arms and my legs all over the place. So that was what um, also saved my life. Um, the last thing that saved my life was um, meditation um, and mindfulness. So when we do meditation, we focus on something. So sometimes we focus on our breath, sometimes we focus on a mantra. Well, for me, my breath was so up and down um, that focusing on my breath wasn't gonna calm my mind and it wasn't gonna calm my body. So I um, actually saw a fisherman in the, in the distance. Like he wouldn't have been able to hear me if I screamed um, because he was too far. But I followed him. So every time I was disoriented and I couldn't find where I was going, I focused on him. I focused on him on the shore and I just kept looking up and finding him and then kept swimming. And that saved my life. That saved my life because I could tell where I was um, and it just gave me focus. Um, so mindfulness, like being able to like calm the mind and focus. Um, and, and recognizing the power of your mind. If your mind is sitting there going, I'm gonna die out here, that's where you're going. And that's what happened. I went through that state of, I'm gonna die in the middle of the lake. I could vision how this was gonna go down. I could see it. I, could, I, I was like, I'm not strong enough. I'm not gonna make this. Nobody's around, no one's gonna hear me. Um, and it was this very life-threatening, like panic, sheer panic, fear, life, just terrifying experience um, of just realizing that you're alone and that you, you know, if anyone's coming, it's you. Like, you got to save yourself. And for people who go through recovery, uh, you guys know this. You know that when you hit rock bottom, you're the one who has to pull your, yourself out. Um, so it was very much like my experience with recovery as well that made me be able to step into my power and say, okay, like no one's coming for you, Melissa. No one's coming. So if you're going to do this, you got to commit to this. Um, and so my mind just went there. My mind just went, it was like um, switch and it was like survival. And it was like, there's the log, you're swimming there, get her. Like <laughs> it was just really like... There, like you, you can't, you can't let your mind go other places because not only are you exerting your body if you're flailing your arms and stuff all over the place, um, like I said, yoga helped with that. You're you're stressing your body out by breathing super heavily, so breath work helped me calm that down. Mindfulness and meditation helped calm the mind. It helped me calm the mind and focus, focus on the fisherman on the shore, focus on the log I was swimming to, and just breathe, don't panic. And that's what I had to do um, to get out of that situation. So for me, that was my first um, pretty crazy situation. I, I go into some pretty adventurous things, guys. Like I climb waterfalls and rock climbing and I go barefoot hiking by myself in the forest up mountains. And and I, I haven't been in a situation where I uh, was quite terrified that, um, that, that, that it was going to be the end. That, that, was, that was it. I wasn't coming out of that one. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share why, I mean, why those things helped me, what saved my life. Um, and uh, and I, I do, I stand by that. I stand by that 100%. Breathwork, meditation, yoga saved my life. So, um, yeah. So I think that's all for that story. <laughs> um, pretty intense story. I, it's hard to end a video like this, but um, but yeah, the power of the mind, guys, dropping into your body, remembering your breath, and just coming back to focusing where you got to go, what you're doing. That saves lives. All right. Um, I'm going to go. I have a class coming right away. I got to go prepare for it, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And please don't swim alone <laughs> like I did. That was a very um, uh, moment where I got kind of smacked in the face a few times by family members like, you know, you grew up on the lake. Like, you know, you're not supposed to swim alone. And I was like, right? Like, silly. It was silly. It just was like, it's one of those situations you get into. You don't think that there, it is as far as it is until you're in it and you're like, oh, shit right? Anyways, all right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Stay safe, guys. Bye.